Hello, 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 procrast creators, and welcome back. So today we are answering a question that I received on my YouTube comments. That question is simply whether they can use um, a lower percentage of alcohol um, to do the wood grain effect. So um, normally in my videos and in other people's videos, you'll see use 91% alcohol, but in the times that we're in, that alcohol may not be available to you. So I am using some 70% alcohol um, and we're gonna see if we can come up with the same effect. So that is what we're doing, but before we do that, please like, subscribe, hit that bell and as always you know I love you guys thank you for watching now let's get started okay so the first thing we're going to do is start with the things that we need um, you need makeup brushes I put a link below this makeup brush kit is a very economical price on um, Amazon so I'm gonna put this kit below um, I use either these or these these I got from Walmart um, but this is just much more of a deal um, as far as buying them and as you can see some of them are brown so I do use these actual brushes um, the next thing I'm going to use is the um, J Ranger alcohol inks I am going to use latte today as well as espresso um as you can see from back here i have a whole tray of alcohol inks and even alcohol inks that i've made myself um but this is just my choice for today um like i said you're going to use the alcohol and you're going to need a cup and a paper towel and you're going to need your tumbler which should be spray painted so this has already been spray painted white um and it's dry and it's ready for me to apply the inks onto it so that is what we're going to do so i'm going to move my camera down just so you can get a better view of the tumbler and not of me um, so the first thing i'm going to do is just uh, pour some of this alcohol into this little cup you don't need like a full cup of it just you know maybe a fourth to a, a third of a cup of alcohol is way more than enough um, you're going to need two to three different size brushes um, I use I'm just going to use from the kit since that's the one that I'm putting below I use about three different sizes so a larger size just so that I can spread over the whole cup and not take forever to do um, one that's a little bit smaller and then a very small one for when I do not so that is that and so the first thing you're going to do is wet your brush and this brush must have used brown the last time and didn't clean it off so there's some brown already on there but let's see you need to make sure you guys can see everything so I just dipped in my brush in here and I cleaned it off and as you can see it got the brown off from the last time so let me just go ahead and do that with all of them real quick and that way my brushes are prepped and prepared I'm gonna take these off, move that out of the way. So the you can either what in the world? You can do one of two things. You can either put the alcohol straight onto the tumbler. I don't like to do that because sometimes it'll leave like a, a ink stain. So I like to put it onto my the ink onto my brush and then put it onto the tumbler. I found works best. So I'm gonna do that. So for that, I'm just gonna put two or three drops of my espresso and then another drop or two of my latte. 
and then it did exactly what I didn't want to do. And so then I'm just going to go around the whole tumbler fairly quickly. It's not, you know, nothing to this process other than going around the whole tumbler and just spreading out that alcohol over the whole thing. So you can go with a lighter or the more alcohol ink that you use, the darker, of course, your tumbler will be. If you want it super dark, sometimes I feel like you have to um, definitely put several coats on to get a much darker look. So... And you want to make sure, like I said, that it doesn't have to necessarily be coated evenly, but the whole thing does need to be coated. Ah, look, dark. So, and then if I have some spots that are too light, I am going to go back over those spots with just a little bit more ink. So I'll add to that, like, like this piece is pretty light. So I'm going to go ahead and add to that. And like I show you every time, just by doing the up and down like this, you're already getting somewhat of a wood grain look. So like that spot is really, really light. So... Uh, just tap that in there just a little tiny bit and put just a little bit more. Ooh, that was a lot more. Yikes, that was a lot more. Okay. So you also want to make sure that you get your bottom. Can't leave the bottom out. So, and then I just like to go back around. Because you don't want like little lines like that. So you just want to go back around and brush everything where it kind of has a good even not even but a good coat all the way around this one has kind of a green tint to it which I kind of like so as you can see, this is the whole tumbler. <laughs> Go all the way around. That's your whole thing. Doo -doo 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 -doo. The alcohol ink dries pretty quickly. Um, like already, you know, there's a little bit of wetness, but not a whole lot. So um, that wouldn't be a big deal if you needed it to dry quickly for some reason. I don't know why. So, once you do this, and it looks like we will be able to use this 70% alcohol, which is the whole reason for this particular video, is to see if we can move this around. Ooh, I keep putting too much dark on there. See if we can move this ah, around with the 70% alcohol. So, I think we're going to be just fine when it comes to that. So... What I'm going to do now is just start moving it to my liking. And you would, of course, on yours, move it to your liking. Um, making sure your brush is not too wet because if it's too wet, it does that. But the good thing about alcohol inks is you can do like this and you can make that go away. So... let that dry a little bit and then I will go back over that one more time but so once you get it the way that you want you can kind of look at it decide hey where do I want to not like this particular tumbler because of the brand they put that print right there so I'm gonna stay away from this side and put my knot more towards the front of this so 
if that's my back my knot's gonna go on this side so I'm probably gonna put a knot up here um, so let's just start there so to put a knot on you're just going to start moving your alcohol inks around with your brush. You can make your knot as big or as small as you want. And you're just really taking your brush, moving that alcohol until you have a ring. Um, I would suggest not a even kind of ring because knots in wood are not like a perfect circle so once you do that like if you just like it like this you can go about your business and just have the one ring but of course that is not me so I am going to add use a smaller brush but I'm gonna go in here add a little bit more ink and then start moving that ink around so and I'm not at my table where I can film right over top so I got to make sure I keep this where you guys can see it so you just want to create a second ring by moving the alcohol ink around to give yourself another ring so I don't know if you can really see that but you keep doing that until it is to your liking so you shouldn't have to put alcohol ink on your brush every time this is just really super light so I am doing it again mixing up some of that so that you guys can get a good feel for this process so and I'm really, I don't know how to recreate it just on my own, but I really like it when I have a little bit of green in it. If To me, it feels like a wet piece of wood. And, you know, sometimes they have like that green tint to them. I don't know if you've ever seen that. but So, again, I'm just pushing that alcohol ink around with my brush that has both alcohol ink on it and it's wet from having actual alcohol um, with this one I'm just gonna kind of make my center by pushing y'all know I like to push up and then down so for everybody who's watched my previous videos thank you so much I hit over 50,000 views on my last one and that was amazing um, so truly appreciate all of you guys but as you can see that's my first little knot there um, if you've watched my videos you know I also like to take my smaller brush um, and I'm actually doing this one for a customer and just making little lines like you would see in wood down um, just remember when you dip your alcohol your brush back into your alcohol you want to make sure that your brush isn't too wet when you put it back onto your tumbler so like I dip and then I'm gonna wipe 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 off where it's just a little bit damp so I'm gonna do this all the way around and I don't know like this is a difference where it's kind of just smooth and then you look on this side it has more of a rough texture to it so um, like I said I'm just gonna do that all the way around sometimes I take my time and make them all neat and sometimes I just go around quickly because both ways give you a good effect so like I said before, I think we've answered the question as far as whether 70% um, alcohol will do the trick. 
it looks like it definitely will um, so have at making it uh, and like see I put too much alcohol ink right there it's too wet so as you can see so this is what will happen yeah, let me that's what will happen if your brush is too wet but again if you make a mistake you just go over it with your brush and you fill that sucker in and then you're back to fixing it and doing it the way that you want so um, like I said um, super simple process I, I love doing the wood grains um, and again I appreciate you guys for watching you guys are so amazing thank you for getting me to 10,000 subscribers too can't thank you enough for that okay so what I wanted to do is just let you guys see um, me putting epoxy on this cup now you'll see a lot of epoxy in this cup only because I got a couple of more tumblers off camera that I am going to be um, putting epoxy on today but I wanted you to see because I get the question a lot do you need to seal it um, can you put epoxy straight on it and my normal response is sometimes I wait 24 hours sometimes I put epoxy on as soon as I'm done um, this tumbler has been finished for maybe 30 minutes um, only because I was getting my other tumblers ready so um, I wanted you to see what would happen just after 30 minutes no seal so this does not have a seal on it um, so I'm just gonna put a light coat of epoxy on this now so that you can get a feel for um, what it what it does so course you need to take safety precautions um, you should have a mask if you wear those um, but as you can see so I wouldn't shouldn't say as you can see but well I guess now I can say as you can see um, the alcohol ink isn't really moving around from the spaces that I've had it um, hopefully you can see that it's pretty much stand put so and that's without a seal um, so I guess a seal would be nice but not necessarily necessary um, so I like I said I just wanted you guys to see that to see that you know you know we say a lot of things as we're doing these tutorials and I know a lot of times we're learning processes as we're showing processes um, but the more I do these the more things that I've heard that have to be done are optional um, so again, this is, I'm just putting a coat of epoxy on here. And as you can see, my alcohol ink is not moving around. It is staying exactly where I left it a half an hour ago when I finished this tumbler. And I could have done this quicker, but like I said, just my setup time is what caused me to wait even the half an hour so um, I hope that you like this video I hope that it was helpful um, please like subscribe hit that bell thank you thank you thank you thank you for watching I truly appreciate you um, if you want to find me on the other social media um, platform so that you can show me how your tumblers are turning out you can find me um, Facebook through I have a Facebook page Procrast Creation DIY I have an Instagram page which which is Procrast Creation DIY um, if you would just like to buy one of my tumblers or one of my other products I you can find me through Etsy 
um, which is just Procrast Creation. Um, or you can go to my personal website, which, um, well, I shouldn't say my personal website, the website for Procrast Creation DIY, which is ProcrastCreationDIY.com. All right, guys, as always, I truly appreciate you and I'll see you all the next time.